Hello, my name's Davina. I've come here today to Kingsmill Hospital for a day case procedure. My husband has just dropped me off because following any procedure or operation, you will not be allowed to drive yourself home. I've been here before to day case, so I know where to go. But if you've not been here before, there's a reception over to my left. Somebody will be able to point you in the right direction. Otherwise, there's many volunteers dotted around who will be able to help. As you come down the main street at the hospital, there's the Volunteers Cafe on the right. Go straight past the cafe and take the next turning on your right. I've just arrived in day case and now I'm going to check in. Hello. Hello. Have you got your letter? Yes. With your appointment letter, you will have received an information leaflet for patients with it. In here, you will need to check when you could last eat and drink prior to coming in. Don't forget to bring an overnight bag. Don't wear any makeup or nail polish and no jewellery. I will be taking mine off very shortly. Hi, uh, is it Yes. Can I come through? Yeah. Thank you. Well, the nurses will be with you in a few minutes. Your toilets are just around this corner here. If you need anything, just give the one of us a shout. Yeah. Once you're settled in your chair, a nurse will come and take your observations, your blood pressure, your temperature. Hello, Davina. My name's Ryan. I'm one of the student nurses. I'm just here to take your observations. Is that OK? Yeah. yeah. And check your personal details and any medical details prior to your procedure or operation. Just take your blood pressure first. And this sensor, it just goes on a finger on your opposite hand. Okay, and that measures the level of oxygen in your blood. Yeah. I'll just record those for you. Now that I've had my observations taken, a nurse will come along to ask some general questions. For example, she'll want to know when I last ate or drank yes. anything. She'll want to confirm what medication I'm on, and more importantly, yes. whether I'm happy about what's happening today. Just to make sure you're happy with everything that's going to be happening with you today. Yes, yes, everything's fine. After your details have been checked, an anaesthetist and maybe a doctor will come and see you prior to your procedure or operation. Good afternoon, Davina. Hello. I'm Dr. Senkai. I'm the anaesthetist who will be looking after you this afternoon. Yep. I'll ask you some questions about your past medical history and I'm going to explain in details the kind of anaesthetic that I'm going to give to you. Have you got any asthma? No. Or diabetes? No. High blood pressure? Yes. Now that everybody's been to see me, all I need to do now is get my book out, sit and relax and wait for the nurse to come and tell me when I need to change into my gown, ready to go down for my procedure. Now that I've got my gown on, they're going to take me through to the anaesthetist's room prior to um, the operating theatre. Now I've arrived in the anaesthetic room, which is just outside the operating theatre. The anaesthetist will come and ask me a few more questions before they administer the anaesthetic. Hello, my name's Sue and I'm with you today. So, but there's just a few more questions that we need to ask before we start. There. I'm Sheila, one of the recovery nurses. I'm just going to take your oxygen mask off and sit you up. Okay, there we go. 
How are you feeling? I'm fine, yes. Have you got any pain? No. I've had my operation now yeah, and I'm in the recovery room. They will soon come to fetch me to take me back to day case. I'm back on day case. The nurses will bring me a cup of tea, a slice of toast. Hello, are you okay? Yes, yes, thank are you. you. Okay for just doing your blood pressure they will ask me if my pain is under control, if I need any pain medication. They will do my observations again, blood pressure, temperature. They may even ask me to go to the toilet before I'm allowed to leave. Everything seems okay. So I'll let you get dressed and then I'll be along to give you all your discharging and any medication if that's okay. Yeah, they told me everything's fine so I can get dressed now and be on my way. Some people do have to stay in overnight. If this is the case for you, then visiting hours are between 6 and 8 p.m. So that's it. I'm dressed. I'm ready to go home. The nurses have rung my husband and told him he can come to collect me. I've got my discharge medication. I've got the discharge information. They've also run through it verbally with me. Um, so this has been my journey today. Yours may be different. For example, you may come in for eye surgery. If that is the case, you will go to a different area of day case where they have got their own dedicated eye surgery area and theatre. The day care is, is very good. There's no doubt in that. It's been an absolutely wonderful experience and I haven't had any problems whatsoever. The mannerism of the staff is very, very good. Everybody was really nice. Excellent. They keep you well informed. I was able to ask any questions that I wanted to without feeling embarrassed or silly. And the food's very nice, it's well presented. I had fish, chips, mushy peas. The ladies who deliver it are hard workers and, and, and very nice. And a trifle, and I'm having uh, egg meal sandwiches on uh, wholemeal bread and a bread and butter pudding for tea. It's gone very well. Well, you couldn't expect any more. Very satisfied with what they've done for me. I would recommend people to come here. So, good luck with your operation. I wish you a speedy recovery.